Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Today I received the Lenovo X1 Carbon. So we'll start with the unboxing. So you can see the X1 logo on the box. Oh, another sticker. So, protection and another box with the X1 on it, although the one is perhaps not really that visible, but it is here. It's in plastic. Okay, so we take the lid off, and here is the laptop itself, and it's just some paperwork, setup guide, guarantee, so I guess that's it. So I think to look in the other box again. Yes, there is one more thing. This is of course the charger. Let's see. Okay. So this looks like a nice compact charger. USB-C of course. This is still with some plastic. Okay, let's see. So, it's like this. Okay. And let's have a look at the ports. So it looks like we have a USB-C port here, a docking port, a USB-A, I think, HDMI, headphone, and on the other side we have, I think, the Kensington lock, another USB-A port, uh, ventilation and the power button. So let's see if some speakers on the bottom. It's also ventilation but there's also speakers on top and that is one of the changes they made between generation 7 and generation 8 and according to the reviews the audio is 
much much better with the new speakers on top here let's see so there's this clip here and the power cable Now let's take this all off because I think there's still some protective plastic around it. Okay. Oh, also here. And also, I think. So here, one is a bit trickier to get off. Okay. Plug it in. Let's see. Uh, so here is the charging. Um, let's see how we are going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to switch it on and one of the things I'm going to try is to switch the FN key and the control key because I'm not really sure why they switched that. I think it's the only brand that has it. Okay, let's uh, turn it on and then I think with F1, hopefully, enter. Yeah, we can enter setup. I press enter. Or is it booting up now? Yeah, I think it's booting up now, it didn't. Because this looks like Windows setup. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to, yeah, that's okay so let's try that again oh no keep the power button pressed No, how do I get out of this? Okay, I'll keep it pressed a bit longer. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's switched off, I think. So, turning it on again. So, let's see what it is the enter key or the F enter. Ah, there, there it goes. So it was enter. And let's. Uh. So here you can see I ordered one with the i7, 10th generation. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Uh, Order it with the 11th generation. So now we go into config and keyboard mouse 
and here you see that there is an option to switch it. Oops, uh, that's not what I wanted. Apparently I pushed page down, so let's see. Okay. Uh, how do you get that to switch? Or can I just ah I can use the mouse. Okay. So what I'm also going to test is if I can boot from a live USB stick. So I'm going to plug this one in. Oh, and then we go to save and exit. Yes. Press enter. Uh, F12. Okay, boot menu. Okay, there's this my USB stick. And it's a 4K screen, so probably this isn't really readable, but this is the Ubuntu start menu. And here it says Ubuntu is loading. It's doing a check disk. And of course, um, after this video, I will uh, set up Windows, but that's just boring, so you don't need to waste your time watching that. So here is Ubuntu on a 4K screen. Uh, let's see, Wi-Fi not connected. And Wi-Fi is working. So, or at least it was able to find uh, some networks here. And this is all looking great. This was the unboxing. And I hope to see you again in my next video.